Hey, what's going on, y'all? All right, welcome to Big Bear Fishing. I am your host, Bear, or Nathan. You can call me Nathan or Bear, it doesn't matter. Um, we are, so I wanted to show you some progress on the boat. Um, I have my flooring in, and I'm gonna, so I secured it in here. It's not going anywhere. I'll show you how I secured it in here, and I kind of wanted to show y'all um, what I did underneath here, and then today, I need to clean this out again, even though I had the cover on. Um, Today I need to um, do the framing and stuff up in here. We're going to get to that today. And it should be a pretty fun day. Um, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's almost a uh, saltwater getting machine. I um, have been working working on it as much as I can here and there. But so far, I got this. Look right here. This is like Rust-Oleum um, anti-oxidation paint. It's working pretty well oil fight up there. Anyway, that's working pretty well. Um, I need to clean that up, but I'm going to worry about that whenever I go to paint the inside of the boat. But um, yeah, let's get to it. I'll show you. I'm going to take this out, and then I'll show you what I did um, to secure this in here since it is secured to the ribs and everything. All right, so we got a, I think, 7 sixteenths. Yeah, 7 sixteenths um, socket, and I'm just going to get these loosened up and then I'll show you how um, how these are bolted in there which is pretty cool because I didn't know anything like that existed but I have all these bolted in they're countersink because I'm gonna put that um, EVA foam over top of it but um, let me get these four bolts out of here you don't have to watch me do that and then I'll show you how they are secured in there so I got this kit from Harbor Freight, it was like 20 bucks, and they are threaded insert rivets. So they come with like different, I'll take it out of the pack so you can see it. So see this right here? So I used the rivet that I used were these quarter inch rivets. That's what I got down in there. And basically what you do is, let's get one of these out of the pack. So you take, you drill your hole like you normally would for a rivet. You take this, goes right on the gun like that. Make sure this is this is tight right here. Goes right on the gun like that. And then I'm not gonna do it, but you open this up, make sure this is snug, and then when you tighten it down, it squeezes the end just like a regular rivet. But the difference is that these rivets are threaded down inside so then you can run a bolt down in there and which is what I did here you can run a bolt right down through I did a washer I used a paddle bit and did a countersink hole on um, on this right here and then I bolted them down in but pretty cool tool didn't know it was out there until I did some research all right y'all so um, my board is all prepped um, I'm letting the varnish, I have some um, spar varnish by Rust-Oleum, I have that on there, um, that is, I have, all together I have five, five uh, coats on here, you can see where I've made this deeper to get the plug in and out, um, that's drying up, and then on the boat itself, if you look right there, I have holes drilled, and I'm getting ready to put in my, um, my rivets and I have one back there on that bracket the transom bracket and then one all the way over there and then these are going to go oh dropped it these are gonna go right in here I did um, the one inch paddle bit and counter something and then um, the bolt that I have is going to go down through that. So I'll show you um, how I'm going to do the rivets and that'll be the next part and then um, then obviously they just have to get screwed in and then that's what holds it in there but this is the coolest rivet tool. Um, I'll show you what it's all about but it's really cool um, the process behind it and it's so simple but if I didn't have it that would this wouldn't be possible because I couldn't get a nut on the other side of the rib. So. I'll show you that real quick and then um, and then we'll have to just let this dry and I can put it in there. 
All right, y'all, so all we do is we take our um, screw rivet. We're going to put it on here. All right, put it in the pre-drilled hole. Make sure it's nice and flush. And then we're just going to squeeze the handle. Nice and tight. Make sure that um, the handle squeeze down. Just use your little lever thing. And then hold it nice and steady. Unscrew the um, tool out. And then check that out. I have a, one of our screws right here. Screw goes right down in. Like that. Look how tight that is. Alright, I've got two more to do and then um, I'll move on to something else because that's it for the... I just have to put these three rivets in. Um, I have everything else back here prepped. So just hold tight. Alright y'all, so that is one. That's good. Two. And the three is all the way over there. Three of them all in. Um, the screws hold tight. Those are nice and tight in there. Can't wait to get the um, this board, the transom board right here. Can't wait to get that in there. Got stuff falling on it here. Nice and sticky. Oh well. Um, anyway, can't wait to get that in there. And so this rivet kit comes with different sizes too. See how they got like smaller ones and then what you do is you just take that um, the end and you put it on there. They got um, smaller ones, they go all the way down to um, the size 6 right here. 6 30 seconds inserts. But um, I think for up here, since this really, this is going to be underneath the other one and I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, I can always rip it up if I need to, but I got a piece of plastic to put up under here and that piece of plastic is going to um, basically go from the edge right there back and that'll keep, it's going to go right over my foam. I got some foam strips up here too, but that piece of plastic will um, help with keeping every, like a nice solid bottom over the foam. But uh, yeah, let's. I'm excited. I'm gonna get that done. Um, I think up there on the bow, I haven't decided what I'm gonna. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might actually run my pieces of metal because I think they're long enough. I might run the, just one solid piece because this is pretty chewed up up, up here. I mean, it's got a lot of holes on it. And then what I can do is just, this was for a seat that was up here. I could always um, either probably reposition the seat back just a little bit. Like right here maybe? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But for right now, um, for right now, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. That's nice and solid. I have that EVA foam that whenever I um, start doing this right here. I think I have enough for the whole thing, but if I need to, I can just order some more, but I have a piece that'll go here, and that's going to be a not too much of a pain. I need to cut between the ribs, and then I have a piece that's going to go up on the front. I want to do a piece across the bench, and um, I'm not going to do any on, the, the, on this board right here because I'm going to actually have a box around this, but anyway. That's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I know it wasn't anything special. We didn't go fishing or anything, but the wind, believe it or not, is um, has been pretty windy here. And I mean, too windy to take out a smaller boat like this. And it's supposed to be just as bad tomorrow, so I don't think I'm going to get to go fishing tomorrow either. But that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will catch you all next time. Take care.